you've been wondering how you're supposed to actually listen to your heart and get guidance from your heart, this one's for you. So I'm sitting here in Portugal. I wish that you could see the ocean there. This is like Instagram van life right now, uh, but I can't get the lighting to work because it is getting a little dark here. So today I, I said goodbye to my brother and everybody um, and I am starting van life for real today. And I first went to a place that like had great reviews on iOverlander is an app and then Park for Night, I believe is what they're both called. Maybe that's a little bit off, but somewhere around that. And when I got there, it was just weird vibes. And the lady was even like, go walk and look at the campsite and see if you like it and then come back. And I was like, that's weird. <laughs> like usually people are like, okay, give me your money and then here's your site. Like, cause I came asking for the site. And so I was kind of get th getting these feelings and I was like, oh, I think that this is like my, my, uh, opportunity straight off the bat to listen to my soul. And when people are talking about van life and like, especially how to do it as like a solo female, it's like, you really have to listen to your inner guidance. And I hope the ocean's not too loud. Like there's massive waves, but I wanted to kind of show you what's going on here with the scenery. Uh, I went to Nazar yesterday and Nazar, or however you say it, is this like epic surf spot here in Portugal. Maybe I'll put a video here. So you can probably see the uh, surfer going on the wave with all the jet skiers right here. It was so cool. I don't know how big they were. I think they were like maybe around 60 feet yesterday. And today they're also really big. So I'm kind of like, am I going to be good tonight? <laughs> but anyway, I was at that first place and it was, it was weird. It was like motor home type neighborhood. And then like one weird parking spot area on dirt where you can park your camper van. And there was like other people parked there, but not camper vans and just kind of, it was weird vibes. And it was only $4 a night but I wanted to do a campsite, like a paid campsite so that I would feel extra safe. And I was like, no, my soul is calling for something else. Like, let's go follow it. And then I came here and I'm like, I can't believe that this is free and that there's like a ton of other RVs. You gotta look for the RVs. Cause like, it's usually a bunch of older couples that are just like traveling around loving life. And it feels pretty safe so far when I stick around to the RV people. So anyway, this whole experience today, I use my life content, like what I'm going through in life to think about what I want to share online as the message for the day. And so when I was re like a, recently, like a year within the last year, I've been like, okay, I get it. I've been doing yoga for like 10 years. I've been on a spiritual journey. My spiritual awakening was also like 10 years ago. And like, I get it. Listen to your heart. But I was like, what what are the actual steps step by step like how do you listen to your heart and how do you get guidance in there like i want i want the compass i want to know how to like read it i want to receive the guidance i want to know you know what my soul wants and how to create a life from there and so the reason why i'm now in europe living in a van with my dog arlo who's here by the way uh which is what i've always wanted and left my job that was not making me happy and you know left my old relationship that i wasn't happy in anymore and like finally i'm like coming more and more into alignment with what my soul wants is because i figured out how to communicate with my heart and it's actually incredible like when you experience it and i hope that these steps really give you clarity on how you can receive that inner guidance for yourself and receiving the guidance is one thing but trusting yourself to follow it is another and so that's a whole other thing like when you receive the yes or the no or the go here or do this or change this like will you be able to and it will take time maybe to will you be able to follow that and trust that and trust that 
the path that your soul wants to take is not like anything you've ever seen before. No one's ever done it before. You're so unique. You're so special. You have a really important purpose here on earth. Whatever you're called to do, whatever your curiosity is about, that will guide you to whatever you're meant to bring here on earth. And it doesn't like, it doesn't have to seem like, you know, like the most service to others. But if you're following your heart, that is a service to others because when you're doing something with passion and you're living from a place of alignment with your soul, everyone in every place that you come in contact with will experience the light and the truth of who you are. And you get to help continue to wake up the planet and shift us into this new earth. And so the, the way that, well, I started reading the law of one, uh, like six months ago when I quit my job and Actually, I think I, I started doing this heart thing before. So we'll start with that. So I would start, I started doing this heart thing by, I did a breath work meditation and we went through the chakras and we cleared each chakra. And then when we were in the heart, like we started from the bottom, I believe. And then we got to the heart and we stopped there and we started just like focusing with our attention on and asking questions from there. And why is this important? So the law of one gave me more context on that. The law of one is a channeled message from a, a group or entity called Ra from a higher dimension. And they're here to teach. They were here to teach. Uh, and maybe people are still communicating with them. I feel like I've been in co contact with Ra ever since then. Like sometimes they'll come in and I'm like, whoa, like this is so cool. But uh, in the book, it their their message is just how we can all here on earth start to understand the concept that we are from one infinite consciousness and uh, start to shift into this new dimension here on earth. And in order to access the heart space, which would be the heart chakra, we have to clear and uh, align in harmony the bottom chakras below that, the root, the sacral, the solar, and then the heart. And so that allows us to access everything above and to receive divine guidance through our crown chakra as well. So. When I started understanding that it's really important to clear your bottom three chakras first in order to access the ones above, I was like, oh my gosh. And so when I started doing meditations where it's like your free will is so powerful, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, just like going in meditation, maybe, maybe visualizing your root chakra being clear and vibrant and red and then like choosing with your free will that it's in it's perfectly cleared and in harmony with the rest of your chakras and you can do this for each chakra one by one or you can do them all at once i like to do one by one just so that i can really see and feel and know that the chakras are clear and that if there's any reason why i'm like getting like it's not clear yet or feeling that then i'll go in further with my free will and say well i choose that anything blocking or preventing my chakra from being cleared and healed uh, be uh, transformed into the highest truth now. Thank you. And so it is. And then I kind of sit with it and I wait and I see what's coming up and I clear it. And I bring the highest truth to it. And so then when I finally access my heart, like I'll usually just stop there uh, to have this technique of speaking with the heart and I clear it and all that and I get them all in harmony. And then I start asking questions like, is this for me? Uh, should I, should I, should I stay at this campsite? No. Should I, you know, should I stay in this job? And you'll start to, for me, I was here or I was seeing the word yes or no in my mind's eye. We're all a little bit different. Like we all have different abilities of how we receive our divine guidance. Some people hear, some people feel, some people uh, see, you know, it can be so different for everybody, but just focusing your attention here on your heart space and after time, like, I don't think you necessarily need to spend a lot of time like, okay, clear, 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 clear. You can just like, it becomes a, a muscle. And um, what was, what was the, oh, it was like a hypnosis technique. But over time, like in the beginning, you start really slowly and you're like learning the three, two, one. And then it's like, now you're in this state or whatever. And then over time, oh, it was the Silva method. Like it's an instant thing because your body, your mind starts to recognize it. So if you can just like commit to maybe like seven days, 
just commit to seven days, do this every morning, see how um, it feels to clear, 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 harmonize, harmonize, and then go in here and spend time in here, like five, 10 minutes, just focusing on the heart. Maybe you don't have any questions. When I first did it, I was just focusing on the heart and then she started speaking to me and I started like seeing things, feeling things. Oh my goodness, I don't know how to hang shit in here. <laughs> oh, that wasn't the shower curtain this time, but it was the little thing that holds my uh, shampoo and conditioner. I just hung it uh, a few minutes ago, so that's not gonna work. Uh, but yeah, she, my heart started like giving me such guidance and I was like, wow, all the answers are in here. And at that time, like I hadn't decided to make these big leaps, but I was like, you know what? I quit my job. It was not aligned anymore. It was very obvious. I have the choice right now to like get another job, stay in this house that I'm living in with my roommates and like in California and kind of do the same uh, pattern of life. Or how about I try this crazy thing <laughs> where I just ask my heart what I'm meant to do and follow it no matter what. And so when you start getting clear on how you can speak with your heart, by just harmonizing and clearing your chakras and then going into that space and either just being like the witness and observing energetically the heart space with or without asking questions and just seeing what comes up. And then when you do have questions like, uh, you know, is this for me? If you see a yes or hear a no or whatever, whatever it is, follow that and maybe start creating a life from there. The mind chooses, the heart knows. The mind chooses, the soul knows. When you can merge the two and you can start choosing from a place of alignment with your soul, you can create a life of true fulfillment. Fulfillment will never come from something that is not meant for you. Fulfillment will never come if you're following a path, a life path, making decisions based off of what other people want of you, about what you think you should do because of what you've been taught is right or wrong, right? That's never going to lead to your fulfillment. Your fulfillment comes from when you follow your heart. Your heart and your soul are the same. You get to access your soul through your heart space. So tap in there, tap in there, ask and follow. Maybe you just do a little thing like, okay, I'll, I'll commit to seven days, not only of doing the meditation, but of following my heart. See where it leads you. You know, what grocery store should I go today? Boom, maybe you meet your soulmate, maybe you meet someone with a job opportunity, whatever. So I really am so passionate about this topic. I really hope that more and more of us can continue to truly understand what it means to tap into your heart and to ask for guidance and to receive everything that you need in order to have the life that your soul wants. You know, you don't need more courses. You don't need more YouTube videos. You don't need more, more, more. You have everything inside of you. When you can start to really harness this, like you will be so free. You have everything that you need. You know everything. Your heart is the all knowing. Your soul is the all knowing. When you create that relationship and that understanding, oh, life is so, 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 what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, not wonderful. <laughs> I had such a good word that I was gonna use, but it's gone. There are so many infinite possible, so many. There are infinite possibilities. You can have absolutely anything that you want. You can create anything that you want. Come here to earth, experience all that you can experience. Stop holding yourself back by only living in the mind and in the unconscious. Set yourself free by following your heart. And that just requires understanding how to communicate with your heart, starting to speak the language of your heart. And that's the message. That's the message, hi boo boos. Okay, we're gonna go walk on the beach before it gets too dark. And I'm gonna assess the situation, what the, just happened in the shower. <laughs> and I will see you in tomorrow's video. I'll let you know how the first real van life night goes too. Should be great. The only thing I'm really concerned about is the water coming up, but we've got a lot of neighbors, so we should be good. All right, I'll see you in tomorrow's video, bye.